I guess that leads us to this subject of lean, mm. uh, which you know a great deal about. So what is lean and, and more specifically, what is lean coaching? So lean is a term that was applied by researchers in the late 1980s about describing the Toyota production system and other Japanese manufacturers success, how they came to sort of that world domination, especially in the automobile manufacturing um, space. Mm. What it's talking about, how do you do more with less? And they, they came up with the word lean, which is accurate, but also leads to a lot of, I guess, <laughs> negative impressions for people. They, they hear the do, do more or do it with less, but not, not the underlying culture that supports that. It's about how do we challenge ourselves to do more with less, but not like berating people around that, but with a culture of learning and experimentation. Mm -hmm. And so that is really, I mean, that's what I try and explain so much more in my book from Mr. Yoshino's experiences of 40 years at Toyota from the late 60s to the early 2000s. But lean is about how do we bring in this culture of operational excellence, of continuous learning and respect for people into organizations so that we can get the business results that we need and want, focus on people and process as the way to do that. And in Western cultures, often, you know, sort of the opposite is we focus on that result or the outcome, you know, at all mm -hmm. else and not the way to yep. get there. And so th that's a real difference. And there's a lot more of the production principle side of how you create flow and built in quality and all of this. It's critical as well. But at its heart, the engine that makes this work is around a focus on learning and on people. Mm -hmm. And so... Yeah. So then the lean coaching is right. how do we develop people's human capabilities around problem solving and developing other people? And this is where it gets to this concept that I call leading to learn. It's about how do leaders set the direction, like where do we need to go? What are the challenges we need to you know, achieve as an organization, as a team or whatever? And then how do they provide the support through coaching and development and the systems and structures that allow people to be successful? And then third, how do they develop themselves? And so that, that's really the foundation. And lean coaching is about how do we develop people to do that. 